Hello friends, my name is Karan and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial video, I am gonna show you how to make a joystick like this in Unity. So without further ado, let's start this video. So first of all, I opened up my Unity project in 3D. You can see I have only empty scene here. Now create a script folder and under this folder create a script called joystick controller. Double click on the script to open it up in Visual Studio. Ok, so delete these two default methods in the script. I am using unity engine.event system namespace. Now we are gonna say joystick controller extend mono behavior, comma i pointer down handler, comma i pointer up, up handler, comma i drag handler. Now we need two references, one for the joystick background and second is for the joystick handle. I also want to reference my cube or target object. We need couple of variables like float for joystick radius, another float for cube speed, vector3 back move, a boolean value by default it is false. Now create a start method. Under this method assign joystick background and joystick handle. Find out target object in my case it is Q. And calculate the radius. Now create an update method. Under this method we need to check if our button touch is equal to true. Then my Q position is equal plus equal to back to move. Create a new method called void on touch. Add a vector to parameter called back touch. Create another vector to call back. This one is equal to new vector to back touch dot x minus or joystick background dot position dot x and for the y back touch dot y minus joystick background dot position dot y. Make sure that our back value doesn't exceed the joystick background. For that, we need to use clap magnitude function. VAC is equal to vector2 dot clap magnitude and pass into values VAC, comma, joystick radius. Joystick handle dot local position is equal to VAC. Move the joystick background to the distance ratio of the joystick. For that, we need to create a float f square. This one is equal to joystick background dot position minus joystick handle dot position dot square magnitude divided by joystick radius multiply with joystick radius. Now we need to normalize our touch position. So vector2 back normal is equal to vac dot normalize. Now our vac move is equal to new vector3 vac normal dot x multiply with speed time dot delta time and f square comma 0 and same thing for z position except vac normal dot y instead of vac normal dot x we want to rotate our cube with joystick so for that cube dot cellular angle is equal to new vector 3 0 comma math f dot attend to vac normal dot x comma vac normal dot y multiply with math app dot rack to deck comma zero now create a public void on drag set the parameter pointer event data event data under that call on touch function and give it event data dot position my button touch is equal to true create public void on pointer down function Set the parameter point event data, event data, and under that call on touch function and give it event data dot position as well. And at this time, my button touch is equal to true as well. 
now create a last function call public void on pointer up set the parameter pointer event data event data whenever we remove our hand from the joystick my joystick returns to the original position joystick handle dot local position is equal to vector 3.0 my button touch is equal to false at that time okay so now our script is ready save the script and back to the unity now right click on the hierarchy and add a plane into the scene set the plane view on the scene and select the main camera and go to the game object align with view as you can see our camera set in the game panel according to the scene view create a cube and set the y value to 1 and change the name of the plane I am creating a separate folder for materials called material. Under that, create new material called cube. And uncheck these two options and set the color according to yourself. And drag this material to the cube. Now duplicate this material for ground plane, change the name and color and assign this as well. Right click to the hierarchy and create a canvas. Set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size and change the reference resolution. Select the canvas and add a new image. I am just using Unity by default sprite. You can use according to yourself. and set the position to the bottom left. I am just increasing size and change the color white to black and rename it joystick background. Now duplicate this and set as a child of joystick background. Change name called joystick and set the size and position as well. Time to add a joystick controller script to the canvas. Save your script and hit play. The joystick is ready to use. This is my first video with voice. I don't know English very well. So forget if I do any mistake. By the way, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe my channel and enjoy your game dev journey.